Hey guys, Dancy2, welcome back at long last to Golden Sun, The Lost Age. Last time, way back then, we went to Chompa and beat the shit out of Briggs. Uh, and then I had a uh, pony fiasco, and now I am back. Slightly better than normal. Today we're going to be exploring the Anonko Ruins for the second time, because my last recording failed. Her gur gur gur. Yeah, my recorder apparently hates me now. Way more than normal. The weird thing is it didn't fail in the normal way, it just straight up desynced. Like it glitched out and desynced about halfway through. There was nothing, it was just a, something I'd never seen before, so. Let's just hope we do better this time, and I know I'm going to do better this time because I actually know the place now. I spent about five minutes getting, or more like ten minutes getting lost last time. So you guys won't actually get to see any of that. There are arrows on the floor for some reason. They're just part of the sprite thing, but I picked it out last time. As for the ruins themselves, I don't really... By the way, all these chests are empty. I'm just opening them because I think you need to to do something. I don't know. But yeah, as for the ruins themselves, I, they're very strange in that... They're incredibly generic, yet they're very memorable at the same time. It's like, this is a dungeon, what do you want? And you just remember that. I don't know. Uh, I think straight will not get us anywhere, so we're going to want to go left first off. just because there's stuff behind some of them. What is this way? That is a dead end. And by the way, dinosaurs have invaded Southeast Asia. Why are there dinosaurs everywhere? I know that the monsters in this game are kind of like uh, mutant animals caused by the Psy Energy Stone smacking them on the head because science. But, you know, dinosaurs, people, come on now. Last time I checked, Synergy Stones don't reverse evolution. We have bird monsters anyway. How the fuck does that even work? I don't know. Fuck it. Fuck it! Ow. Ow. Oh, right, I forgot he's in a stupid class. I need to fix that. Oh no, a battle I can't just hold down A button for whatever will I do, summon. Attack increase, hell yeah. Anyway, just like the second rock is typically a lot easier than the first, uh, same way with the towers. The second tower is typically a lot easier than the first one. Um, by the way, in order to access this area, you will need sand from Gaia Rock. That's about it. Uh, just like the Tundaria Tower, you need parts from Aqua Rock. This one, you need sand. As is demonstrated here, Shazam Sand. Dig, 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 I think I might be going out of order already. Phantos Mace. Phantos Mace is our next upgrade for Shiva, basically. Uh, it has a chance of instant death if it's unleashed, so that's pretty good. And thus making my assumption that the Comet Mace might actually be okay, completely useless. Should have gone with the Lunar Shield. Because at least then I would have something, you know, that I could use and potentially be very good for certain fights. Or Planet Armor. Planet Armor is pretty good as well, from what I've heard. Anyway, we put the space back together and he's gonna bleh sand all over the ground. Why? I don't know. It's a thing. It's a motif. They have a sand motif, they have to roll with it. Running, 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 running. 
I hate those stupid squirrels. They're just fast enough to get a hit in on me. Curse you and your speed. Eventually, however, speed will be completely useless. Not in this game, but soon. Soon, ladies and gentlemen. Soon, speed will be a completely irrelevant factor. And it's hilarious how irrelevant it is. Oh, it's gonna be beautiful. Burn down the trees. Wow, Pierce, is Pierce faster than Felix? I think they're at about the same speed, so it's like random who actually goes first. Uh, Jolly 148, 151. Oh, he is faster outright. Wow. I think it's just because he has more gin. Yeah. He has more. He has a higher gin count, so he'll be automatically have better stats for the most part. God damn it, go down the fucking vines. Damn it, I should know by now have the two girls attack the fucking squirrel. Then we might not actually get hit, but Pierce missed anyway, so whatever. Heartbreak! So a giant demon to crush his soul. Power bread! HP increased if I remember correctly? I haven't played this so long. Yes. Uh, who needs an HP? You do. Dig, 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 dig. Now, unfortunately, you can't climb into his mouth, but whatever. It gets us through that little hole in the floor. Uh, what is this away? I think it is. Yes, it is. Okay. I forgot to get this last time. God damn it. Please be double damage. Damn it. If I had double damage there, I could have potentially killed that stupid thing. Oh, wow. The Minotaur is faster than the Raptor. That's weird. Or, Dinox. What is of everyone missing? Seriously. Hit the thing in front of you, people. Money! So yeah, this chest is actually good to go for. Smack it. I love that I'm at the point where I can just mash the A button to win. It's so nice. Was it here? Nothing yet. Okay, that's for later. items that's never gonna be used. Push that into place. Now let's go back around and pick that up. Uh, this dungeon has a lot of back and forthness. It's actually a little bit non-linear in its nature in that I think you can do either side of the dungeon first. We're doing the left side first, by the way. There's the right side. The right side is actually a lot shorter from what I remember. Uh, mainly because there's not as many side paths like this as is in the uh, left side. Come back all this way. You think it's gonna be something good? Nope, it's just a vial. over here. And 
here we have an Indiana Jones trap. Run, run. Anytime. Thank you. Push button to open that, and we run through. I hope you remember how to do that, because it's a little bit harder of one later down the line. And I think in later dungeons there's one like that as well. I can't remember. Anyway, here we here we get to show off that weird glitch again where we we'll fall through a roof. Actually, go through here to get anything. That just shows me where something is later. I can't go through there either. No, you can't hit shit. This should lead us back to the beginning area. Souls out of dinosaurs all in a day's work. <sighs> on the wall. Thank you. No one threw out their unleash. And we get the Mooney Robe in here. Mooney Robe is a lot like the Blessed Robe that Shiva has, except it's slightly better. Result, we're giving that to you. And the festival coat, I think, can go to Felix, yes. Actually, no, 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 no. He does not get that because the defense increase is only minor and Zion male resists water, which is what something that's good for the next boss fight we're gonna do. Oh, 
Oh, can anyone else use that? Nope. Anyway, this little path over here is something I always forget, and that's why I got lost for 10 minutes last time. Huh, so there's a path behind the stone head. And I know I can't. Okay, oh. I'm on this to death. Damn it. Oh, maybe you do have to do. Okay, so you do have to do the left side before you do the right, because otherwise this pillar's in the way. Okay, dokie. Silver, there's the second one I thought I knew where it was, and I was right. Run, 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 run. Make a beeline for it. And I'll just ride the sand up. I just saw like Jenna had the crystal power. I'm like, nope, that does not belong to her. Fine there. Is there any way for me to get across there? Because that would be great. No, there's no way for me to get across, son of a bitch. I would like to not have to walk all the fucking way back around, but I guess the game's not gonna let me.
Haha, <laughs> I don't set up a trap. What do I do over here? Oh no, whatever all I do, I'm just run for the door. This guy's gonna try and crush us. But we have the power of sand, so he cannot do that. Nah, nah. Sneak behind him. So, wow, he hit that wall hard. Anyway, with that, we can sneak behind him. And pop out on the other side. treasure. We just have to get to the top of the tower at this point. This is a shortcut back down. But it's kind of useless to us because... Actually, no, it isn't useless to us. What am I saying? We are nowhere near done yet. I thought we were heading up to get the last thing, but actually, we're not. Anyway, even though there's a solid ring, there are stones that are in a different color that make a hexagon, so that's your sign to use reveal here. A little bit, they're getting a little tricky on us, those crafty bastards. Hey, wait out to complete the center head. It creates sand for us, which we'll be using to get up to a point where we need to go. I should probably put sand on one of my triggers, but I don't care at this point. Oh, just get out. head down here and get to climb up the sand waterfall incredibly slowly. I hope you like climbing up the sand waterfall very slowly because now you get to do it even further. Dig, 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 dig. Yay! Okay, we have made it now, now and now we climb the line. And at the top, is anyone surprised? It is the last piece of the trident. Okay, that is everything in this dungeon, I believe. So next time, we will head back to Champa, get this trident put together, and we will go off and do some side questing stuff. So see you guys then. Bye.